Welcome to Marine Max. My name is Perry Avery. Today we're going to go through a brand new 2023 Scout 425 LXF. Uh, black hull. You've got the dark brown Cayenne interior. Uh, a few other special things on this boat, but let's start back with the power package. Uh, powered by twin Mercury V12 Verados. Uh, these engines power this boat up to, you know, your mid 50s. Uh, gets it on plane with the dual prop and the two-speed transmission very very quickly so uh, I could go on and talk about that but uh, need to get you on the boat for a sea trial to really feel it um, again no splash wall on the back of this boat so if you have it on a lift you can walk from port to starboard starboard to port uh, extremely easily without having to come in one side of the boat or the other so uh, that's one thing I love to point out when going through these scouts this door here look at this hardware um, coming in and out of the boat here um, very easily coming in and out but also has a, a nice flair to it some of the things that scott puts a lot of thought into what they build uh, transom seat very very comfortable um, transom seats you have a lot of them but not all of them are the same you've got a fish tank style bait well here so this is where you put all your, your bait fish. You got a light in there and then you can see down below there is that fish tank window. Open it up into the bilge. Um, just want to notice the easy access um, down here. And one thing to point out, this is a, um, you've got a central raw water inlet sea chest uh, on this boat. So every, eliminates a lot of the through holes needed um, it adds to the integrity you know, of the hull. Generator, sea keeper, all neatly arranged down here. So look above you, we have, um, this is the aft shade. I have it deployed about probably 20% right now. Um, your rocket launchers will automatically go actuate up and down in order to, uh, for the shade to come out. So if you have you know, a bunch of fishing rods or flags, up here in the rod holders, uh, rocket launchers, uh, you want to put the shade out, you don't need to take them down. These will automatically lower, shade will come out. Uh, one of the great things uh, that Scott does. Coming down to the entertainment center here, obviously, you got a Kenyan electric grill. This will shut very easily here. Nice Corian countertops, freshwater sink cutting board and then you gotta have the bar stools right so hanging out you've got friends here you've got friends here you've got this nice friend over here this is the cooler so this will come in and out with the press of a button electrically um, just like so you can also serve um, as another seat. Raw water and freshwater hoses right on the back on reels, so easy access there. Um, again, nicely portioned and put away. And of course, you have your swim platform out of this boat. So, um, also a um, you've got a ladder. Dive ladder that can come up here. This is a nice handle. So thinking of coming up out of the water, grabbing onto this, sturdy, coming up and in and out of the water. Uh, if you're on a T-head, maybe put a chair out here. Um, another great feature of this boat. Dual fish boxes either side as we move forward. And then Tom, just get a shot of these uh, release marine chairs. So three by three, custom seats here in Cayenne. And as you look on the other side, you'll notice kind of the diamond Cadillac stitching put on these. So if you want your boat to stand apart, you know, the guys at Release and Scout do a great job. Power panels below, storage on either side, and there are two induction phone chargers for your passengers on this side. Um, access to Sea Keeper below on either side. Up here at the helm, take a look at this nice Edson 
carbon fiber, carbon fiber accent steering wheel, throttles, AC, two AC vents at the helm, massive 24 inch garment screen, split by 16s on either side, you got your engine diagnostics, you got your zip wake trim tabs, and then of course Mercury joystick powered um, joystick option located right below the steering wheel. VHF radio, 315 Garmin. Um, most of your switching is going to be inside uh, the screens, but Scott did put a few easy access um, ones right up, easy to touch, like your emergency horn, like that. Glove compartment here, and then on the other side of the steering wheel, you do have a proportional bow thruster. keeper panel as well and then for uh, maybe different height passengers here do have a drop floor that will come down and get you above the horizons if you're a little vertically challenged on the port side entrance into the cabin Now, down in the cabin, with the push of one button here, notice the sides. Up and down to get light, or um, you can open those port windows, port and starboard windows up to get some airflow in. This can be filled in um, to create a bed. There is uh, a bed topper that goes over top of these, so if you want to sleep on the boat at night, you know, great option. It is a center console, but it's a 42 foot center console with a, uh, a decent sized berth down here. Over to your galley, induction cooktop, microwave, storage throughout on either side. And then there is a fridge. Pull out here. Your electric panel is going to be just behind this cupboard and a separate head and shower. So not only do you have this pocket door here um, on top of your, your head, but you have a separate shower in this boat as well. All right, let's go up to the bow. This boat has our midnight edition package. So you'll see some of the black accents uh, where it was scout white. So including the hard top, got black radar, black KVH, as well as a black FLIR and antennas and outriggers. So with the black hull, all the midnight accents, cayenne, um, upholstery, this will turn some heads. Large lounger. So this is where most of your passengers are going to want to spend, uh, spend the day up here. Very comfortable bolsters on either side, cup holders, and then you got foot storage here as well as another uh, ladder when you come up and in and out of the boat. Just one thing to point out, underneath this lid here, not a lot of people will see it, but it is finished off. Beautifully done. Take the time. These edges are sanded and painted so you don't hurt your fingers coming up. Um, whether it's in the bilge, in your boxes, and even up here. So just to stress the amount of attention to detail that Scout takes in their boats. Now all the way forward, we have an electric high-low table. So three positions for this table. Of course, you have all the way up. You can drop it down to halfway and then put two filler cushions on top of them, and that will create um, a full sun pad bow lounge. Or of course, you could drop it all the way down. Um, you know, if you're fishing, you can have better access up here in the bow. Storage under each one of these. So life jackets, things for the day, all finished, all insulated. And then extra storage on here. Got a nice light, put your phone in here. You also have USB chargers, so 
you know, I don't know when I'm when I'm running. I don't want to have to worry about where my phone is. Put it in here, put it on charge, put it away, and enjoy your day on the water. Anchor windlass forward, foot pedals, um, and then one point out. These are your bow accent lights at night. So very nicely done by Scout Boats. It's a short walkthrough. Um, come on down, take a look at it in person. Let's take it out for a sea trial. Uh, if you have any questions throughout the walkthrough, feel free to send me a text. My number is 330-348-6916. On behalf of Marine Max in Kent Island, Maryland, thank you very much. Hope to hear from you soon.